Hey, Karen Valencic here. Recent question, what is the difference between being centered, emotional intelligence, and mindfulness? So in this video, I'm going to talk about, well, what is center, first of all, and then how emotional intelligence and mindfulness fit into that, as well as some other things. And then I'm going to point you toward how do you, how do you develop more of that? So first of all, here's, and I'm going to say this is my perspective, and my perspective is informed by my martial arts training, which I've done for over three decades. And centering in our martial arts practice and in the work I do with people helping them master conflict, um, collaborating, and being able to show up in their power in their life, the concept of center is so critically important. And it's that internal balancing um, thing that we do that's a it's a mind body spirit actual phenomenon that happens and our center of balance actually in our physical body is about an inch and a half below our navels and in the martial arts we we train ourselves to move from this point um, because that's where our our balance and our strength lies and so and what's really amazing and there's lots of ways of approaching this there's, there's, there's thought things you can do, there's movement, there's breathing, there's meditation, there's all of those things that, that help you develop that center. But what it, I think is very distinctive about it is it allows me to adjust and move quickly, both physically, my, mentally, and emotionally in my world. So I see centered as a big umbrella a very big umbrella and in that umbrella is emotional intelligence uh, and mindfulness. Emotional intelligence, keep in mind, that is a person's capacity to adjust and adapt their emotions to be appropriate in a circumstance. What centering does, it increases a person's capacity to to manage their emotions. So it's, it's center is actually a pathway to that. Mindfulness, which is about being able to be present with what is, is also very much a part of being centered. Um, when you're mindful, you're, you're being very present with a, a person, a conversation with yourself, and you're increasing your awareness. And that also is very much part of centering. But centering, I see, is a little bit bigger. Now, there's, there's some other concepts that are, are in the popular flow thing here, which is you know flow, there's being in the zone, there's being grounded. And so flow, I feel like, really fits with this. Again, when you're in the flow, you're, you're, you're moving with, and that's a big part of what I teach and learn in my martial arts practice. The zone is a bit different to me. The zone, for me, is very narrow focused and you know you could be an artist or you could be a writer and you're in the zone or a runner you're in the zone and and I see that as something where you've got really filtered into a narrow space the world could end around you and you'd be like well what ha what happened and so that's a a bit different because centered is, is has got a wider uh, perspective of what's going on around you and then grounded again I, I like the term grounded because it helps us, you know, bring our balance down. But being, you know, is there is there mobility in that groundedness? So, I promised you, you know, some resources. If you'd like to learn more about center and acquire a practice, I do have something that's available as a download for free on my website, spiralimpact.com. And that is, it's a, it, it goes through more depth of what center is and how to reach that. And then I have a um, centering practice for while you're driving. I call it strengthen your balance and focus while driving. And feel free to go check that out. Hey, thanks for tuning in and I will catch you next time.